So here I am as promised. I'm going to go through the stages of making the needle books that I've shown you before. I will have to go off camera to do a bit of the sewing but I'll show you each stage as it happens. So um, the first thing I do is to find a suitable cover so I found this piece of fabric. It was in one piece like that. And while I could have just folded it, what I considered was that I was going to want to put pockets here. So the um, these nice blue leaves would have been uh, covered up. So in the end I cut the piece in half and then I'm able to turn that turn that round so that's the lining and then the pockets will go here so you need to cut out a cover and a lining um, and then you'll need two pieces for the inside and they need to be smaller so that the cover I mean there will be a seam here so that the cover covers the the inside unless you want it um, sticking out a bit. Now what I tend to do is I choose a sort of a, a gauze uh, linen type fabric um, with a, a thicker fabric because you don't want it getting too too bulky when you're sewing. And then you have to consider, before you start sewing up the, the edges, what you're going to want to put in. So I'm going to want to put pockets in here. Uh, I've chosen this fabric, um, so I'm going to want to um, lighten that up a bit. By I tend to put sort of bits of patchwork um, on, so I sort of cut strips and I'll maybe put a strip there so I can sew all these things on before I actually sew the pieces together and then I might put a little bit here just to make those two match so that's what I'm going to do first I'm going to um, with this bit I'm going to put on my pockets and I've chosen a piece of fabric for that so that's going to be like that and before I attach this to the outside I can hide all the seams and things inside there so I'll put a pocket on there I have another pocket which may go on there because um, it doesn't really matter what fabric you have. It's nice to use up bits and pieces um, of remnants because the overall finish, uh, because you embellish it so much with buttons and pins and jewels, um, the fabric tends to get a bit covered up. So don't worry too much if you haven't got anything suitable um, because I put a nameplate on there and I might put a... Um, a brooch or something um, and you could put a pocket on the outside or on the on this side so it's entirely up to you because it's quite a unique thing for you to design and make um, so you don't have to follow follow a guide you can just decide yourself where you want to put pockets and belly bands but it's useful to do that before we start sewing up edges. In this, I'll get this out of the way, in the inside piece, um, what I tend to do is put a pocket, a big pocket in in one of the sides. Um, so I'll I'll do that before I close it and I'll show you that. I'll just show you, I'm making it two or three at the same time because just makes it easier that way. So this one I've 
I've chosen this as a cover and then this is going to be the lining and then I'll jazz that up with some extra bits that I've got here so I might cut a belly band or something and I often use tape measures, old tape measures that are stretched and are no more use to make belly bands this has got this thick piece on so I'm going to have to tear that off because it's a, a remnant then inside I've got this uh, fabric which I thought it's just choosing colours to go together really so that's that one I've got friends already lined up for these so I know who I'm making them for and then this one I've got this as a cover and it's such a nice piece that I didn't want to cover up the other side with a lining so I'm just going to leave that one as it is and I've got to think carefully about how I put pockets on because obviously I don't want them showing on the outside so I'm going to have to think about how I do that and I'll show you when I've worked it out and then inside I've got this lining so this is too big I've got to cut this down a bit so there we are that's the start to cut to your pieces out and just have a fiddle about with where you want to put pockets and belly bands so I'm going to go away and start on the sewing and then I'll come back before I sew the edges round okay be back later okay well I've been busy um, I'm only going to show you one of the books I've worked on because it'll get very muddly otherwise but at the end I'll show you all of them so the covers just the same because I'm going to put a nameplate on here and some um, jewelry we haven't got round to doing that so the inside of the front cover I've sewn on an old tape measure in two places just to make a little uh, belly band there then I've sewn a pocket on so you can see it's all, it's all going to be hidden inside the lining just sewn a pocket on there and a small pocket there for I usually put a, a thread picker in there so that's all ready for embellishment buttons and goodness knows what else on the other side of the lining I've put another pocket here and a small pocket for a pencil and then I've so included in a little lace pocket by just stitching there I have put a um, piece of felt there for pins or needles so that's all going to be included in there so what I'll do next with this when I've tidied it up is I'll put the right sides together and then I'll stitch around the edge I'll snip the corners off to make them neater and then I'll turn it the right way out so that'll be and then I'll just leave this bottom edge so that I can work on you know if I want to put some extra things on or it's easier to work if I want to put an extra button on or something so that's the outside the lining the two pieces I cut out so I decided to have the darker blue showing and I've added some just strips of fabric that I had underneath there with a the green um, just to add a bit of extra colour and I've put some felt over the top and, and a zigzag stitch I've made another pocket here with one of the fancy stitches from the sewing machine then this is the lining to that I've added 
piece of felt there uh, with just some fabric underneath and again a little bit of um, crazy quilting underneath there and a piece of felt for needles and then this will be sewn together and then on this side I've made a little side pocket with some lace so the next thing I'm going to do there, um, I'll just get a piece of fabric just to show you. I've got this old sort of curtain lining fabric left over and I, it's quite useful for pockets. So I'm going to cut a piece of this off and then I'll I'll turn it around that way, you might see it better. And then I'll insert it in here before I add the lining. And then I'll double that over and perhaps put a fancy stitch down there. And then we'll have a pocket in here on the same that side so it's quite easy to put a pocket in and then you have quite a nice large pocket and then that, the sides will be sewn in when I do the, the borders so that's what I've got to do there just cut out a piece of this for the pocket there and then when I've got that attached to this, these two sides, I'll then um, sew around. I might just sew around um, the rough edge rather than turning it inside out. These things you can decide as you go along really. And then I'll come back and show you how we've got on and uh, how I start to embellish. Okay, so I'm doing four at a time so um, it's taking a little while, but I'd rather do it that way um, and get them done. And I'll be able to show you at the end. Okay, I'll be back. I just wanted to show you um, this part about the pocket. So I've cut this piece of lining fabric out, it could be any type of fabric, and I've slid it between the, the second page and the and that its lining. And what I'm going to do is just fold the fabric over. Just get a couple of pins here. And I'll pin that right along there. That's what I mean about making it up as I go along. I might do it completely different on the on the other ones. And then the same thing with this side. So I'll pin that I'm just going to do it this quickly I'll, um, I'll make a better job off camera <laughs> And then I'll sew down here in a maybe a fancy stitch and again on this edge and then that will make the pocket and then if you remember that this is the inside 
page of the sewing book so I'll be sewing the edges around and then I'll just cut off this surplus and I can either just um, do some zigzag stitch several times around just to keep it neat and then we'll have a nice pocket in there inside the book so that's the, that's how I make those large pockets there okay when I've finished that then I'll come back and show you back again I just thought before I sew the um, fabric together I'll just show you that I've added buttons at this stage and the my friend likes um, music and so I've um, added a little guitar there um, buttons it's just easier to add them before you sew the two together and then the same on here on the second page so I've added a little pair of scissors um, a button with a bead on another button there a button there and there so those things are easier to add before you stitch up so I did that and I have stitched around no, along there and along here um, and I've cut off the surplus fabric from the pocket and then the pocket is quite a nice deep pocket there you could put a popper on there if you like but I don't think there's any need really um, so I'm going to um, this this is open still because I wanted to just make sure I'd got everything on um, so I'll um, do a zigzag stitch around here now a few times just gives it a little edge and a pattern and then on the front of the cover I've added a little jewel I've still got to do the nameplate and then I'll with this one I'm going so that I have a neated neat and a neater so that I have a neater edge I'll um, do the right sides together and then stitch around leaving a little gap to unbag it like that so that's what I'm going to do now now I've put the buttons on and things because the other, the other things that go on are pins and needles and bits and bobs so they're easier to put on okay well I'll be back as soon as I've finished that one thing I forgot to mention before I go before I sew those together I've decided with this pocket I've found this extra little bit of um, fabric and I'm going to make a little flap so that the pocket is sealed there so you could put buttons and things in there if you wanted to um, so I'm going to fiddle about with that first just stitch along there and make a little flap and then I'll put a I haven't got a button here but I'm going to put a blue button on or maybe one of those on there so I'll do that as well before I stitch the uh, lining and the front cover together okay got lots of things to do back soon hello back again right I've got so far with the needle books um, I've sewn these two pages um, sides together turned it the right way out and then I've top stitched all around where I turned 
the opening and I've just zigzagged along there as well just to give it, give it an extra edge now this book um, I didn't measure the um, pieces of fabric and when I looked it it was rather wide um, I'm rather unpick it, um, unpick it all I decided to make this um, addition so I've stitched a line down here which brought the whole book in made it a more sort of easily managed needle book but it's left me with this here this flap now I could have just cut it off and zigzagged and um, pressed it out but I decided that it would be quite a nice addition so I've got the other pages and what I'm going to do is attach the page here and then I'll have this extra flap to add some pins um, some beads, embellishments, whatever a thimble I could put there or some ribbon um, and so it won't interfere at all. I could put it this side um, but I think the colours go quite nicely there so that's what I'm going to do and I'll hand stitch this in I'll just put a few big stitches down the centre with some cream cotton and it won't show on this seam at all then I've just got to put um, a closure on I could either put a button here and have a, a little closure like that or put some eyelets in and have two ribbons to tie it there but I think what I'm going to do is have a ribbon go right, right the way round that's always looked the best way for me with these needle books um, and then all I've got to do is dress it with the cards and uh, ribbons I usually put a tape measure in thimble um, a needle um, a thread picker so I'm going to do all that and I've got the other five books as well and then I'll come back with a separate video and just show you all the books together completed because they're almost there now and uh, I put some extra lace across that edge sometimes if you have a raw edge it's quite nice to just to add either some um, decorative stitching or a bit of lace and I only had white lace yesterday so um, I dipped all these bits into some um, warm water with a couple of tea bags in and I've ended up with some nice tea stained sort of ivory vintage looking lace so I'm quite pleased with those and I've used the white lace here but it would look equally as nice with the um, tea stained lace I've got to press this one now it's been in the water and on the line so that was another little addition there so I'll finish this video and I'll be back shortly with the next video showing you the five books that I've completed I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please press the subscribe button and join me on the next crafting adventure. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.